What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 23 video on the channel. Welcome to my custom tactics uh, and best formations that got me in the elite division. If you want to get cheap and reliable coins, go check the best place on the market, fifacoin.com with super fast delivery time and make sure to use the code Ovi for extra discount. Link is in the description. Uh, a very requested uh, video we managed to get uh, Elite Division last week on the road to glory. Uh, and of course, custom tactics and player instructions and formations play the big part of it. Before getting started, make sure to smash the like button if you are enjoying this type of content on the channel. If you want to see uh, more videos with custom tactics with formations on the channel, let me give you an insight of how I play after minute one. This is the lineup. If you are following the RTG, you already know it. If not, here it is on the screen. I've got four formations that I play after minute one, depending on how the game is looking like. I always start with four triple two. If I have problems opening up the, def uh, the opponent's defense, I go four, three, one, two. Uh, if I want to close down a game, uh, last minutes, uh, if the opponent is playing constant pressure, I always go 4-2-3-1. Of course, we're going to go also into the tactics and instructions. I just wanted to present it, to present you the, the formations at first. And uh, if I have problems at the end of the game and I really need to score goals ASAP, the 4-3-2-1 is my go-to formation. Let's start with my base one, the start one. Uh, after minute one, the four, triple two, and these right here are the exact tactics that I use. Defensive style, balanced. Team with 40, depth 60, build up play, balance, chance creation, forward runs. Team with in attack 50, players in the box will be at six, corner kicks and free kicks at two. In terms of instructions, I've got to stay back while attacking for both of my fullbacks. Uh, I've got balanced and cover, uh, sorry, I have got to stay back while attacking and cover center for uh, the right central defensive midfielder, stay back while attacking, cover center for the left central defensive midfielder. Now, come back on defense, get in the box, and I've tested lately the drift wide option for the left attacking midfielder. The same for the right attacking midfielder. Come back on defense, get into the box for a cross, and drift wide. Now, for the two strikers, I've got to stay central, get in behind for both of them. This is the four triple two. So this is my formation after minute one. Now, when we've got issues, problems opening the opponent's defense up, I go four, three, one, two. This is the formation. Defensive style balance, team with 40, 41, depth 55, build up play, long ball and forward runs team with 50 55 players in the box at five corner kicks and free kicks at two instructions for this 4 3 1 2 um i have stay back while attacking for the fullbacks but if this doesn't work i just use the d-pad to tell them to get forward forward for the fullbacks in order to do that you have to press up on your d-pad and afterwards to the left. Now, uh, for the three central midfielders, uh, the center, the truly central one has stay back while attacking. Uh, don't mind here the, I don't know why Holland is. I think they got, it got reset again. Why Holland is there, I don't play him. Come on, he's, he's a striker. Uh, so in terms of destruction, stay back while attacking uh, for Kessie and cover center, he is playing a CDM role in the squad. Now, left central midfielder, cover center and basic at everything else. Right central midfielder, cover wing. That's how I've been using them. Now, stay forward for the central attacking midfielder and get in behind for the two strikers. Now, let's say uh, the game is almost won. Only a few minutes left in the game. Opponent is constant pressure or opponent is just using constant pressure from minute 50 minute 60 i just go this 4 2 3 1 and it's it's been working quite well for me defensive style balanced team with 45 50 at depth build up play and chance creation balanced here to have options at passing with and 55 players in the box at one corner kicks at one free kicks at one you 
don't necessarily need to score goals. It's not mandatory. You need, first of all, to have options to pass the ball and counter that constant pressure. This is what this tactic will offer you. Instructions. We're going to have a uh, stay back while attacking for both of our fullbacks. Uh, stay back while attacking cover center and uh, deep line playmaker for both CDMs. Now, for the three central attacking midfielders, we are going to have come back on defense for all of them and free roam for the central attacking midfielder. Uh, for the striker, I just don't put anything. I leave him on mixed uh, because I want him to either do uh, runs behind Elmina, enemy lines or I can call him for a short pass. Uh, this is why I don't like to uh, necessarily use a certain player instruction for him. I, I need a bit of variety uh, from that striker. Now, last minutes of the game, opponent is winning. He's got one, two goals. Doesn't matter. We just gotta go constant pressure. The 4-3-2-1 is what I use. It's been bringing me a lot of positive results when I've been down one, two goals. Defensive style, constant pressure, team width at 50, depth on 60, build up play will be on fast build up, chance creation, forward runs, width on 50 players in the box at 6, corner kicks at 2, free kicks at uh, 2. I don't really feel like. I'm a master of direct corner kicks at this moment, so this is why I don't go more here. I still prefer uh, to alternate direct crossing with a short pass. If you are great at crossing the ball from corner kicks, by all means, go 3-4 here. But that's not the case for me. Uh, now, for the 4-3-2-1, the player instructions, of course, balance for the fullbacks because we want them to go up in attack. Uh, we will still have that CMKCS stay back while attacking with cover center. Even though here, cover wing might seem like a better option to the fact that uh, the fullbacks will get forward. But KCS, at least for me, he's been able to get in the perfect position on the wing, even with cover center. For you guys, cover wing, if you don't have such a dominant CMCDM. Uh, the rest of the... The rest of the CMs, I don't have anything on them, absolutely anything. But I do have on the uh, two center forwards. The four, the former left forward and right forward, we've got get in behind uh, right here. And I don't know why it, I don't know why it got reset right here. Should be stay forward, very, very imp uh, important. Get in behind, stay forward for the two uh, left forward and right forward. The, the central striker. Erling uh, will be on balanced. And I think that's kind of it, boys. These are the uh, four formations that I use after minute one, depending uh, on the on each scenario. So for triple two, I start the game uh, with it. Four three one two, I use it if I can't open uh, the defender's defense. Uh, four two three one, I use it to close down the game. And four three two one, I use it to come back in the game. These tactics are pretty nice. Uh, they've got me to elite division of course uh, the team also played a part in it but tactics were super super important leave a comment below let me know if you've got any questions i'm also streaming at this moment you've got the link in the description thank you all for watching my name is ovi and i'll see you fellas in the next videos and of course on stream Bye bye